How's it going everyone? John here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to use the media source in Streamlabs OBS. Now, if you're new to the channel or new to the series, be sure to go ahead and take a look around the channel or the other videos in the playlist. And if you're enjoying the content, feel free to go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon as well. That way you can get notified every time I upload a video. So for the media source, what you're going to want to do is create your scene. So click on the plus icon to create your scene if you don't already have one made. And you're going to go over to the add source. So click on the plus. You're going to go to media source. And you're going to see the different options that are available for the formats that are supported. So you'll be able to add in videos and sound to your scene. The most common ones you're going to see a lot of people use are MP4. You're going to see MP3 as well as GIF, maybe even AVI. But... I'm only going to show you how to bring in one of those formats just to kind of show you how it all works. So go ahead and click on add source, give it a name, add new source, and then it gives you this overall properties options here. So the local file is going to be what is on your physical computer. And it's the most common thing that everyone uses when they use media source. But if you're wanting to go a little bit more advanced, uncheck the local file and now you have the input and input format. Unfortunately, this is more advanced stuff that I will not go over in this video. So we're going to go back to local file because this is going to be, like I said, the most common one that everyone uses. So to go and find your file, click on browse. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back to my desktop and I'm just going to grab this random file here. This is a GIF. So we're going to go and grab that and we have that on the screen. Now, what we're seeing here is I have other options underneath that. So I have loop, I have restart the playback when the source becomes active. I have the use the hardware decoding when available. Show nothing when the playback ends and then close file when inactive. So this really is just a matter of preference. So for loop, it's going to be in continuous. It's going to keep going and going and going and going. It's never going to stop. You can restart the playback when the source becomes active. So if it's if it's like a video montage and you're going from one scene to the next and you kind of stopped in the middle of the video playback and then you go back to that scene again later on, then it's going to restart the video from the very beginning versus if you stopped where it was, then it will pick back up where it was. So if you don't want it to start from the beginning, then you're going to uncheck the restart playback. And then using the hardware decoding when available, that's fine. You can leave that checked. And then the show nothing when the playback ends, that's up to you. But if you have a loop set up, then it's just going to keep going and going and going. Now for the speed percentage, that's up to you if you want it to be a little bit faster or if you just want to keep it as the speed of the original format of that video or sound or whatnot. As for your YUV color, this, I really honestly cannot tell the difference between partial and full. So it really just matters up to you on which one you would prefer. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to leave loop on. And I'm going to go and do this. Now there's not a lot to it. So for this one to be in continuous motion, it's just kind of seeing like where the gears and everything kind of stop on the screen. Because what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you what I just did. So... It's moving, it's moving, it's moving, it's kind of going in. I'll wait for it to go in a little bit. Go in, there we go. So we're going to stop there, and we're going to come back. And it's already it's already kind of where it was. So we could do that, we come back. So it's kind of hard, it's kind of hard to capture it, just because it's such a short video. But it's in loop motion and everything. So restarting the playback when the source becomes active, I have that unchecked. So... If I have that checked again, and then we kind of wait, so then I start it. See now how it's doing that again? See how it just keeps restarting it? It's pushing out, outwards every time, every time I restart it. That's kind of what I meant by like it would, it would start from like where the beginning of the video was, if that kind of helps you guys understand a little bit more. But, I mean, that's pretty much how the media source works. Again, if you add in other stuff, like if you're adding in like an MP, uh, MP3 or anything like that. So, if we add in like, uh, yeah, MP3 or an MP4 file or anything like that, 
what's going to happen is the MP3 information is going to go down here in terms of like volume and same thing with the desktop. So, or not desktop, but the, the video itself will go down into the mixer side here. So you'll have like multiple channels here of volumes that you can mess with and that will allow you to determine if you want it to be a little bit louder you can mess with the volumes and stuff like that i'll be going through that in a separate video but just know that if any sound is in any of the videos or any of the uh, mp3s that you're you're bringing in and everything like that you know once you bring in those sound files those are going to come over here to your mixer side of things and you'll be able to mess with their their volumes pretty much but if you guys have any questions about media source let me know in the comments section below and if you want to share anything about your experiences with the media source or any information or anything like that feel free to go ahead and do so that way other people can get any knowledge if there's anything that i missed but if you're new to the channel like i said be sure to go ahead and take a look around i have a lot of videos on here that teach you guys about streaming and everything and if you're enjoying that type of content or the format of how I do the information, then definitely go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell icon. That way you can get notified every time I upload. But I'll catch you guys in a future video or in a future stream. Thank you so much for watching and you have a good rest of your day.